Hey friends, if you need some cleaning, decluttering, and organizing motivation, then you have come to the right place. This is an extreme declutter and organizing session, and I was shocked and very happy with the transformation of two areas that I wanted to tackle today. There's a lot of deep cleaning, a lot of getting rid of junk, so stay tuned because I'm going to give you all of the motivation that you need to get up and do something today. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready for some cleaning decluttering and organizing motivation. So with most of my cleaning and organizing, I like to start out with a clean slate. So I picked everything up from the floor and the countertops. And my plan today was to clean my kitchen, do some deep cleaning as well, and then declutter and organize under my sink and my hall closet. And these are two areas that have been driving me crazy. And something needed to be done and we needed better systems in place so i ordered some organizational tools and bins and i was ready to get it all done and i'll be honest with you like with every other organizing project you know i have this vision of what i want it to to be what i want it to look like and i just was hoping that it would turn out the way i wanted it and both areas turned out way better than I thought, especially my hall closet. It was a pretty big transformation and now I cannot stop looking at the final product. So I cannot wait to share with you from start to finish and how I did it all. Both areas, I literally pulled everything out of the cabinet in the closet. I have another cupboard. I'm gonna pull everything out. So I was able to get a really good look of what I have in all of these spaces and then truly declutter. This is one of many decluttering and organizing videos I've been doing lately. I started a decluttering and organizing kitchen series recently. I will have those videos linked down below. I have a lot more organizing videos coming. I've been enjoying it. So if you like all of these type of videos, make sure you're subscribed and check out those other kitchen decluttering and organizing videos down below. If you are just stumbling upon this video or if you are recently new to my channel, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you who takes time out of your busy day to watch my videos. But I am Jamie, I am a mom to three girls, and I am married to my high school sweetheart, Mike. And my goal for my channel is that you guys can come here, I can put a smile on your face, and that I motivate you in some way. Maybe you feel like we're friends and we're cleaning together, or maybe I inspire you after my videos to clean and organize, or whatever I'm doing in my video, I hope that I can motivate you to get up and get at least one thing done, one thing accomplished, and be productive. I know life can get overwhelming and believe me I have those days too but we can all help each other out I know we can do this we will do this together even if it's little by little so please subscribe and hit the notification bell because I have a lot more motivating videos coming your way oh and say hi in the comment section if you are new and even if you aren't new still say hi Like a 
this I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him nah, 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 nah I'm just curious, I kind of want to take a poll. Do you gravitate more to bright colors or more neutral? I would say that when it comes to my clothes, I kind of like more colors. I think I look better in bright colors, but when it comes to my home, I like to keep it pretty neutral. So let me know, do you like colorful things or do you keep it more neutral? If you are feeling overwhelmed and there's areas in your home that you want to declutter and organize, we all know that right now is a pretty good time to do that, but you probably don't even know where to start. And I'm going to give you some tips and kind of what helps me get started when I have an area I want to tackle. So first off, pick an area that has been driving you crazy and just bugging you and then go through everything you have in there. Take stock of things that you know you're going to get rid of and you don't have to do it right then, but just say, okay, well, I know I'm getting rid of that and then know what things you will be keeping in there because that will be key. You need to know what you're going to be keeping so you can get bins or organizers for that space. And I find that once I declutter and organize a certain area and I love how it turns out, just doing it, just doing something one time helps motivate me to keep going because I just, I know how it feels after I'm done. So for example, the closet that I'm going to show you and how it turned out, I just loved opening my closet after. And now I want to go and tackle more, a lot more areas in my home. So one area can kind of like spur more organizing projects, at least it does for me. And then once you know what things you're going to keep in that area, go shopping online. I like doing that because then I can look at many different stores at once and kind of get a, an idea of bins or containers or tools that will work for that space. Order them and then you can see what works and you can always return whatever doesn't. And I like shopping at the Dollar Tree, Target, Amazon, and Walmart the most. You'll see me using a variety of cleaning products all over my house, but I have been loving the Jaws cleaners as well as e-cloths. So I've been using both of these products all over my house. And for both of these products, just so you know, I do have coupon codes. So if you use links in the description, I will have them linked down below and you can use Jamie25 for the Jaws products and you can get 25% off. And then you can use Jamie10 for 10% off of the e-cloths you will not be disappointed with either but i just wanted to throw it out there if you want to check either of them out um, make sure you use my link and my codes all right so i'm gonna be organizing decluttering and organizing two areas i think i mentioned it on a video that went up last week um, under my sink area and then this back closet right here they are just 
they're constantly a mess. So even when I go in, I rearrange, I make it look nicer, I take a few things out of both of the areas, they both end up becoming a big mess and I'm just tired of it. And so those areas that just keep bugging you, it's like, it's time to do something. So I sat down last week um, in both areas, so the closet, and I just decided, okay, what do I wanna keep in here? What am I gonna move somewhere else? What am I going to give away? And then the stuff that I knew I would keep in both areas, I ordered some things online from Amazon and Target to organize those areas because I just need a better system in place because what happens is I don't even know what I have in my cleaning supply closet. And then in here, it's just, sorry for the bad lighting just a mess um we have a ton of coats in here i keep my cleaning rags we have shoes way too many shoes down here um this is kind of like our mud room or locker area that a lot of people have i would love to have more i would love to have like a bigger space over here but it is what it is and i just noticed that it got out of hand with Avery when she has school because she has multiple pairs of shoes. She wears, you know, shoes for gym day and then her boots for other days. And then we have a ton of coats. You know, you have your big winter coats and then you have your lighter jackets when it's lighter, your raincoats. And it's just getting very overwhelming. And um, yeah, so I bought some things to hopefully take care of this area and try to make the best of this closet situation because we also use this closet for like, um, cleaning supplies and things like that so I don't know we'll see we'll see how it turns out but but I'm excited to tackle both of these areas So I just started out by removing everything from under the sink and then cleaned it all up and then I was going to organize. And while I was tackling this, what I was doing was watching one of my friends, Jessie Christine, here on YouTube. She was giving me the motivation to plow through and keep going. Her channel was formerly Keep Calm and Clean. She is the cleaning queen. She is truly one of the sweetest people. We started YouTube around the same time and if you need some cleaning motivation, she is the one to go to. Her home is beautiful. She's beautiful inside and out. She's a military wife with two girls and I promise you will not be let down when it comes to cleaning motivation over on her channel. She always motivates me when I need it, so I know she will motivate you as well. So I will put her channel down below. Go check her out. I will link everything in the description box and where I got it from, but the clear containers I got from Target, the Lazy Susan I got from Amazon, and then the long skinny white bins I got from Target. And you will see those weave baskets all over my house they have them in different sizes they are just you can just use them in so many areas in your home i love them Come on over to Instagram and find me. I love chatting with you. I share way more about my life, more of my kids, and just more of my day-to-day -day life. I will have it linked down below, but it is jamielins.journey. Come over, find me, and say hi.
This was actually a spice rack that I got from Amazon and I used some command strips to add more space to under my sink. And you know I love using door space because otherwise it would be unused space. Okay, so these are the cleaning supplies that I'm going to put elsewhere in the house, upstairs in the laundry room, and then in the bathrooms. And then these I am products I am going to, oh, I'm gonna put that up there too. These products I'm going to give away to my mom. And then these two were empty and I was able to consolidate. Um, so I was able to get all of this out of under the sink. And then I'm gonna repurpose this and use that upstairs. Oh. my jaw refill pods in here and if you guys aren't familiar with jaws um, so you reuse the bottles and then you just buy these and then they go in here and that's the cleaner so I'm gonna keep those there I have my sponges here paper towels here I'll try to find something I get asked about this a lot I'll try to link it down below if I can find it we've had it for many years and it just helps to keep our countertops more clear and then since I use the Jaws products a lot, I wanted them out front and center. And then behind there, I have just our refill dish soap, which I have a smaller one right here. And then carpet cleaner, we don't use that on a daily basis or anything. Here I have my magic erasers that I use. Um, dishwasher pods. Um, my hydrogen peroxide and alcohol that I use to make my own DIY cleaner, which is I keep up here on the countertop to easily grab when I need it. And over here I have the other cleaning products that I use a lot, like my end dust and my barkeeper's friend, Corox wipes, and then my floor cleaners. And then I also have, you know, my Mrs. Myers, the mum scent, which I'm enjoying right now as well. I have this easy to grab right here as well if I just need something really quick and easy. Um, so my linen and room spray, and then my vinegar and baking soda. Mrs. Myers vinegar and baking soda cleansers. Okay, so up here I keep, we have some dog things back there that we don't use very often. Here I have clean and dirty cleaning rags, and then obviously coats and bags and all of that and shoes. And then over here I have like my mop and my steam mop. Just more junk. <laughs> I started out by pulling all of the coats and my husband Mike was standing right there so if you see me talking I was asking him what coats he wanted to keep in there and what coats we could move to another closet upstairs since it's getting warmer here in Ohio I thought it would be a really good time to do this because we could pull out and move our big heavy coats because I guess let's cross our fingers that we don't have to use those big heavy coats anymore.
Mike put together this shoe rack the night before so it was ready to go and it basically just triples the the amount of shoes we can have in this closet and I personally am fine with just keeping one or two pairs down here but my husband weirdly he has like multiple pairs he uses for work and then he has his tennis shoes he likes to keep in this closet and then we also keep some of Avery's art supplies in here and um, the art supplies are supplies that we don't use all of the time but she just has a lot and I like her being able to easily as access them when she wants to so we have for example paint down here paint isn't something we use on a daily basis but we definitely use it frequently and I thought it would look nice tucked back nicely in that closet and then we used heavy duty command strips that hold about seven and a half pounds to hang things in the closet um, like our diaper bag and then my husband's bag for work. I had completed the bottom part of this closet and now I was tackling the top part. I definitely liked the basket system up in here, but I wanted them to match a little bit better. And the fabric bins I had before from Walmart just weren't working for my cleaning rags. And then we also have reusable grocery bags up here as well as an outdoor blanket and a cooler. Kind of random things that we still want to keep in this closet. But I was looking for ways to kind of make it look a little bit nicer and get rid of a lot of stuff. Which I was able to do and I also wanted to label everything. I am loving how this turned out. It looks so much better. I love the white bins. It just makes it brighter in here. Um, and I think these will also be a lot nicer because sometimes when I put my cleaning rags in here, they're a little bit damp. And so these will be a lot more breathable and it won't stain because it's not fabric. Here the idea is the girls can hang up or Avery can hang up her coat and her bag when she gets home from school. And then shoes i think having this rack it just it doubled the space that we had and then over here just um a kind of secret place to stash some of our art supplies that we don't have room for in the kitchen 
and then these command hooks which hold seven and a half pounds or the heavy duty ones um, we can hang the diaper bag and then this is Mike's bag for work but yeah so much better a lot more room <laughs> it matches now and I love the bright white I was able to get a rid of a lot of our coats that we're not wearing right now because it's gonna be warmer we need really more like light jackets and I didn't put a label on that one because it's kind of random um, random stuff and it stays back there anyway so I feel like it was okay with not having a label and I was also able to get rid of, oh, Mike grabbed the broom, so the broom's not in here anymore. He just swept after the girls ate lunch. But um, yeah, I just have my mop, my two mops right here. We keep our broom. And then I've had this in here for a while. It's from Ikea and it keeps all of our garbage bags um, that we get from the store in here. But way more room in here way more room and it just looks so much nicer. I still have some decluttering and organizing to do, but I wanted to wipe down the back hallway while I was back here. It's one area that gets kind of forgotten about, so while I was in the closet, I thought I would wipe down the baseboards and the doors back here. And then I had planned on going through another cabinet that I had previously not gone through when I was decluttering and organizing the rest of my kitchen. So I have no idea why, but this random cup cupboard, I didn't declutter when I was going through the rest of my kitchen and all of my other videos. So it obviously desperately needed to be cleaned out. And we keep our coffee cups and then our travel coffee mugs in here and then water bottles. And we just have too much. We tend to use the same ones over and over. And I just wanted to go in here and honestly get rid of a lot. Okay, so I feel like this one, it doesn't seem that dramatic, but all of these cups in here, that's what we got rid of. <laughs> so it's like a whole garbage bag full of cups that we were able to get out that we just don't use. Um, and I even think like this is, a, these are a lot of coffee cups that we don't necessarily use on a daily basis, but some of these um, I like for different reasons. Like when I'm drinking my natural calm at night, I like a certain cup and the other ones I like for coffee. And you know, when we host like Thanksgiving 
my grandma and my aunts like to drink coffee. So I wanna keep some extra ones and we have the room for it. So I'm not gonna beat myself up for having a little bit too many coffee cups. And then these are the travel mugs that we're gonna keep. These are for protein shakes and our pre-workouts that Mike takes every day. Um, and then those are like extra water cups. I kinda, I tend to use the same water cup every day, um, but I wanna keep some for Avery when she's playing sports. Um, and like my Ohio State one, I tend to use more during the college football season. And we have a Detroit Tigers one that we use a lot during baseball season. So I kinda wanted to keep those, but now, instead of everything being shoved in here, we actually have room. <laughs> so there's like extra room for any cups if we need to, and it just looks less cluttered Even for if sure. You try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I had wanted to vacuum and mop after I decluttered the cup cabinet, but mom life called and I wasn't able to finish it. So after the girls went to bed and the house was peaceful and quiet, I decided to vacuum and mop and finish up my day of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. I guess it never hit you. Our conversation takes to paying it some interest from time. You know when you organize an area in your home and you just love it so much that you just keep looking at it? Like I just keep opening this door. Like I just keep opening this door and staring at this closet because I'm just so happy with how it turned out. Well, I'm not able to get every cleaning video filmed in the amount of time that I went to, but it is 9.15 and I finished. And I just feel even more satisfied after today's video because both areas that I organized turned out as well as I had hoped it would. You know, sometimes when you have this vision, you're not really sure if it's going to turn out the way you want it. And I'm really happy, especially the hall closet. I just, it looks so much better. So let me know if you guys like this. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more. And... Make sure you're subscribed, have the notifications turned on, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I'm acting surprised, but I know I'm not over you. I keep missing fights, even though there's over.